Okay, today we're going to talk about anamorphic lenses. Sandmark was so kind to send me this kit here. It comes with a variable ND filter as well, and they also sent me this 1.55 times anamorphic lens. So before we get into some demo here, let me talk about why would you want a lens like this. Well, 1.55 anamorphic is pretty cool because it'll give you that lens flare, that J.J. Abrams style lens flare, but at the same time, 1.55 is super wide, and it's going to give you more of a barreled film effect as of opposed to 1.33, which is the academy ratio used for motion picture framing. But this will give you a wider look, and I wanna show you that here in just a little bit. But before we get into that, let's talk about what's in the kit here. So this was just the case that came with it. You can carry all of this in here um, if you wanted to. It also comes with this microfiber cloth. In this pouch here is this variable ND filter. You can go from ND8 to ND16 to ND32 and ND64. You could also screw this onto this clip here. And with any case that you want, this is the Sandmark case that is compatible with this. But with any case you want, what you could do is you could pinch this, slide it onto here. And now you can have that filter work with any case. You don't have to necessarily use the Sandmark case here that you see. But that's a quick removal and addition. You could use this ND filter. So there's that. Next is this anamorphic 1.55 times lens here. We'll remove the back and also take off the front so you can see what the lens looks like. That thing's a pretty good size. I was gonna give you some amazing shots. And then I have the iPhone 15 Pro here and how this works is you screw this on and then when you're there, you wanna have this white line line up to the top here um, so that when you're shooting, you can shoot like that and everything aligns correctly. So when you're shooting, everything lines up correctly. Your lens flares are going horizontal left to right instead of at a diagonal. So that's just kind of a leveler for you to know how to shoot it right there. But also what comes with this is, let's go back to our ND filter here. And you can actually use the step up ring, screw that on. And once that's on there, you could then either mount this ND filter directly to your phone mount, or you can use this other clip right here where you could screw that on and then clip this on as a whole as well. So that is the step up ring, that is the ND filter. And that's pretty much everything in the case. So now I wanna show you some shots that I gathered with these here. So in this quick comparison, I wanted to show you the standard one-time camera compared to a 1.33 times academy ratio lens. And also what we're shooting here is the 1.55 anamorphic lens. After testing this, I realized you don't just need to use this on the one-time lens, but you could also use it on the telephoto lens right here and screw that on there. So you could use either one of these lenses, but honestly, the footage that I got, it looks a lot better with the one-time lens Notice those lens flares there. So what's happening here is that this lens, this anamorphic lens is actually just shooting the, the image at a wider shot and squeezing that in. And then using Blackmagic camera app, we're de-squeezing that and stretching that right back out, giving you the letterbox, but you're getting a lot wider shot. So it's pretty cool stuff. If you wanna take your iPhone filmmaking to the next level, I definitely recommend an anamorphic lens. This is a great option right here. This has the blue lens flare, as you noticed in the footage, but also in the lens right here, it has a blue flare to it, giving you that more action, thriller, sci-fi look to your films. So I'll have a link to these in the description below. If you wanna check those out, you click on there. As always, those will be affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra to purchase through there, but when you do, it gives me a little kickback, a little credit to help me grow this channel here. So if you found value in this video, please like and subscribe and share this video with others. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.